You will get what you pray for if you wait for it. You will get what you pray for if you wait for it. Let me say that again. You will get what you pray for if you wait for it. Okay? So God is just basically requiring, I'm reading my notes, God is requiring for you all, for his sons and his daughters, to have major patience in this hour. Holy Spirit. God just wants you to have major, major patience in this hour. God says he knows the desires of your hearts and he knows what is best for you. And also when you all begin to pray, make sure that you are praying in the will of God, not your will. Some of us, are, we tend to pray in the, our will, but make sure you are praying in the will of God because it has to be God's will, not our will, okay? So just simply say when you go into prayer, just say, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, let thy will be done. Let your will be done. Not my will, but your will. That's an easy, simple prayer, okay? And then for those of you who have been believing in God for a new apartment or home, but specifically a new apartment, new apartment, new apartment, the new apartment is coming. Just fall back and let God cook, okay? He's cooking. All the ingredients are in the pot. He's stirring. He's making sure everything is, you know, doing what it got to do. The seasons are seasoning. Things are evenly cooked. You get what I'm trying to say. Like I cook. He's working it all out, okay? Just be patient. This for this move into this new apartment require, requires heavy patience, heavy prayer, fasting, and drawing closer to God. This is why you are waiting. You need to be so engulfed in the Holy Spirit and serving God in spirit and in truth and repenting and seeking his face and winning souls for the kingdom and serving and blessing others, helping others. You know what I'm saying? But more... Uh, specifically drawing closer to God, getting in the word, praying, staying all up in God's face 24 seven. Okay. This new apartment is going to bring forth new life to your life, right? New life, not only in your life, but your spirit, you're going to be feeling like brand new. Also, this apartment is going to make room for abundance and prosperity, and it's going to help you birth what God has been trying to get you to birth, the things that you weren't able to birth in the old apartment. Right now, many of you are stagnant. There's blockages taking place. Many of you are also in accursed areas full of witchcraft full of witches and warlocks and monitoring spirits and unclean spirits and high demonic activity especially in your apartments it's a lot of that going on i can relate trust me okay it's time to go it's time to go but we have to be patient and we have to trust god so what are you gonna do listen to your your, your family okay i'm your family listen to me be patient trust god and praise him like you've never praised him fast and seek his face and for those of you who have been seeing the number three, 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 a lot of threes, three by itself, 33, things along those lines. And yes, God does speak through numbers. Um, remember, the devil is a, a copycat, right? If you look it up in the Strong Coordinates or the Hebrew translation of the number three, it means a new life, unity, foundation, completion, completion. God had me focus on completion and new life. So, um... You might want to go look at that look that up in the strong accordance or the hebrew meaning of the number three okay and last but not least many of you are in your rosh hashanah hour now what does that mean this simply means that you are this part of this year the end of this year the tailbone this is your new year the beginning of the year was not your new year January, February, March wasn't your it wasn't your new year april and down wasn't your new year but now from October going to the end of the this is your new year okay and just like in the new year you make resolutions right so make some resolutions ask the Lord to reset and renew you from head to toe things along those lines and also if you have if you get some time begin to study up on Hebrew calendars and um, Hebrew celebrations and more of biblical celebrations and biblical feasts and things along those lines especially Rosh Hashanah so Rosh Hashanah not only means like the new year or the beginning of the year but it also honors the creation date of Adam and Eve and it, it, it honors the first relationship okay? and what you would do during Rosh Hashanah is you would attend a formal worship service and then you continue to pray and reflect on your time okay your time with God to be clear so right now just rest in the bosom of God and know that he has a trust and believe in him go on a fast some of y'all need to go on a fast go on a fast from 12 midnight till about 3 p.m. or 6 p.m. Do it for three to seven days. Pray at midnight. Praise at midnight and just go in and praise. Praise, 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 praise and give God thanks and love him and seek his face. Y'all be blessed.